Um. Let's watch the uh, quantum video first. Jesus, I'm at work and trying not to crack up while dealing with customers. Sorry, man. I apologize. All right, so let me mute the music and let's go and watch this. Quantum TV is a doxer. Oh God, Apollo's looking at me like he's got to go out. Hopefully he doesn't. A copyright strike abuser. He's wrote two of the most hateful tweets I've ever read and has gone out of his way to call his critics family members, all while playing victim at the same time. Call themselves a commentary community, but really it's the harassment community. <laughs> <laughs> but you aren't dealing with the average commentary channel anymore. You're dealing with Teabag Nation. T-Tards rise up. Exposed. 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 You're exposed. You're exposed. Let's see. Fuck. There was something I just saw that I wanted to read. Griffin uses Bedrock. Major L. Bro, eat my fucking sack. Bedrock is good because it has crossplay. Cope. Quantum's first problem is that his content is complete lunacy. He's a television reviewer who loves to start shit. He once claimed the guy was abusing his daughter because he once asked for her opinion on which TV she liked more. This is my Gadget World's original video. All right, tell me which one do you like and why? I like this and I don't like this one because it's so dark. I like this one because it's even brighter. Now, I thought it was an innocent enough video, but this is Quantum's retelling of it. We got this guy, My Gadget World, okay, basically bullying his daughter to give an... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man, I remember this. ...opinion about a TV. The kid wants nothing to do with it. You don't believe me. Go listen at two minutes and three seconds when she goes, can I go now? <laughs> Yo, bro, how can that be your interpretation? Here's the best part. At that two minute, three second mark that Quantum points out, the girl asks if she can go and dad says yeah. All right, thank you. I appreciate your help. <laughs> that's it. I, I don't know how Quantum can interpret it the way- Yeah, bro, that's fucking child abuse right there. We just witnessed a crime. He does. The, the kid has nothing to do with your review, guy. Fucking talk about the TV. Show the fucking TV. Be respectful of your family. Don't drag them into this shit. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Bullshit reason you come up in your head with that it's okay to bring children of all things onto YouTube and fucking, you know, like, I could, I could just, I could slap you right now. I really could fucking slap the shit out of you right now for that. The worst part of this is that Quantum never shows the interaction between my gadget world and his daughter. So if you were to just watch Quantum's video, you would think that this guy's abusing his kid while reviewing televisions. Or if she, you, like, I can't even, I, I'm, can you hear? Yeah, man, all those times my parents asked me if I like something more than the other thing, I guess I was being fucking abused. I just never knew what was happening to me. I'm pissed. Like, this is bullshit, dude. Like, you don't treat children like that. Are you, like, what is the fucking TV game turning into? We got shills, and now we got motherfuckers out here with their kids, like, fucking treating them like shit. Like On a different occasion, Quantum TV decided to frame another television reviewer, Stop the FOMO, as a Satanist, all because he used the Netflix show Lucifer to show the differences in picture quality. The segment lasts less than 15 seconds and Stop the FOMO's 10 minute video. Yet Quantum wrote an entire blog post about how FOMO's a Satanist, ending it with, it's clear Stop the FOMO is a twisted individual who would sooner respond to those mentioning a Satanic cult than everyday viewers looking for assistance. If you're- Hail Satan. If you're subscribed to him or be the installer, I recommend unsubscribing. There are other fish in the sea. I'm not gonna lie, while researching- Aw, Quantum wants your love instead of them. Like, <laughs> just say- Quantum, just come out and say, like, you know, you want other people's subscribers. You're jealous of their success. 
In this topic, Quantum's content has very much become a guilty pleasure of mine. It's literally a hub for the worst takes ever. And now we finally arrive to Quantum's infamous Elden Ring review. This is the video that started this whole saga. For the people who don't know, Elden Ring is the most critically acclaimed game of 2022. It has sold over 13 million copies in just a few months. And much like with Quantum's other content, most of his criticisms are completely crazy and invalid. Like when he says Elden Ring sucks because you can't fly a dragon in it. It's tra- <laughs> Jesus fuck, man. 2023 Perfect Dark of the Five, I guess. That lady and her daughter asking for my opinion about a shirt when I was 13 is abuse then, and they both should be put in jail? 100%. It'd be even worse if they filmed it, but that's still pretty fucking bad. Trash. Because it doesn't really introdu introduce, like, mind-blowing mechanics that you've never seen before. Like, are you are you swooping down on bosses after flying in from a dragon? No. Are you flamethrowing bosses with a dragon as a part of gameplay? No. He then Actually, yes. Technically, yes. Which shows you that Quantum didn't actually even play the fucking game. Like, you get that one weapon from Godric's Remembrance. That's like the dragon head flamethrower. So, you fucking dunked on Quantum, you fucking nerd. You didn't even play Elden Ring, you fucking dumbass. Yeah. Get dunked on with facts and knowledge, bro. Section 12 of the 10, you seem so even keel mental health wise. Do you exercise every day? I, I should, but no, not really. <laughs> or just came from stable home. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I say this as a compliment. Where does this confidence come from? Nothing but love, man. Appreciate it. I mean, I wouldn't really even just call it confidence. I just... I don't I just don't take things personally, I guess. I'm just here to have fun. I don't know, man. I wouldn't even really call it confidence at the end of the day. Because you don't really have to be a super confident person to just be like on YouTube and shit. I don't know. But yeah, I would say I came from a stable home and mentally I'm pretty fine. I don't know. I just don't let shit get to me, I guess, is the big deal. I don't really know. I don't really know what else I can say to that. I'm trying to think. Like, what do you mean by confidence? I guess would be a better clarifying question. And says that Elden Ring fans should kill themselves for calling him an idiot. It's a challenge, and it has to be for players who think every game is fucking easy. And if you aren't one of those players, then you are a scumbag, you filthy casual. Elden Ring is pretty easy if you want it to be. Jason Cloud with the Fog Quantum TV is the complete definition of a. A very low IQ person. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. Now, I would think that this guy has to be a troll from how stupid he comes off, but he's not. He's a real person. We know this because he's actively filed copyright strikes against people criticizing him. In fact, it's come out that he's done this for over a year. With some people, like Ackman and Camelot, they simply appeal Quantum's claims and their videos stay up. On mischief... Yeah, jerking off is a sport, so I do get exercise in that regard. You're right. Channel, Quantum actually left a comment intimidating him into taking the video down, even though Quantum's just wrong in the video's fair use. And in at least one case, Quantum managed to keep a video down from Jolster after appeal, resulting in his channel getting a strike. So this guy not only has shitty opinions, but he's also a complete menace to the YouTube community. This sparked outrage, and people started to dig through his past, resulting in an avalanche of skeletons to come pouring out of his closet, one of which might very well be the most homophobic, hateful tweet I've ever read. You have LGBT kissing in church, but we're bigots for rejecting this hateful content? What he's responding to is the two girls kissing scene from The Last of Us. I don't know what could be hateful about it, but this next tweet from him is off. It's hateful because a girl's kissing another girl instead of him. Or he's, you know, jealous that, you know, it's not two guys, including himself, but, you know, what do I know? He says, oh, why weren't you a pulse victim shaking my head? The world would be a better <laughs> place Jesus without you. Christ. Hashtag boycott. Hashtag the LGBT of us. He then doubles down on this saying, they deserve it. The world would be better off without them forcing their lifestyle on it. Referring to the Pulse nightclub mass shooting. The best is this guy roasting him. People deserve to die for pushing their lifestyle. What the actual fuck is wrong with you? You're trying to push your weird ass TV calibrations as well. I tried them. They're garbage. I think you should die for that. 
<laughs> now these tweets are from 2018 and it's since been deleted. In fact, Quantum just uploaded a video defending himself from these old tweets. And his reasoning is as nonsensical as ever. It's called Quantum TV Ooh. Drama Set Straight. One of the talking points they've been trying to cancel me with for the longest time is saying that I'm some homophobic, you guys, you know, the whole spiel that they push out. Let me, let me just kind of put this out there. Yeah, two women kissing, man. Shit, he would hate the video I watched earlier today. <laughs> But yeah, section 12 with the five. I feel you actually answered it perfectly. You don't let things get to you. I struggle with that. Thanks for it. No problem, bro. Glad that answered your question. Appreciate it. There, it'd be very hard to be a vegan like I am and be homophobic. A vegan literally can't be homophobic. I, I don't understand. <laughs> Have you like tried and it just didn't work out or what? A vegan literally can't be homophobic. If I'm so homophobic, why would I support their businesses? Hey, buddy. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But they don't care about logic. They, they just want to lie. Logic, bro, that argument makes no sense. He's saying he's vegan, so he can't be homophobic because when he's hungry, he, he eats at vegan places hey, and buddy. LGBT hey, people boy. tend to work at vegan places. This really clears up that whole pole shooting tweet. Just a couple months ago, he saw a video with 100 views and captioned it by saying, This is getting disgusting. These guys are making their sexual fantasies in thumbnail form. I'm not gay, never will be. Guess this is how LGBT treats straight people now. Nobody is trying to turn you gay, bro. The LGBT community doesn't want you, even though clearly you suck a ton of cock. Much of this and more would be put into videos exposing Quantum, and his method of retaliation after his copyright strike attempts failed was to call the act man's mom crying about it. What a creepy, loser, lowlife thing to do. Why bring it to a point where family is involved? It comes off as threatening. But in actuality, it wouldn't be the first time Quantum would take things too far when trying to get back at someone. Here's Quantum, full-on doxing ninjitian, showing his full name, phone number, and business, leading to tons of people calling and harassing him. It's like bots were set up to do it or something. The point is, shit stacks pretty high when it comes to Quantum. The guy is genuinely awful, which is made even more awful because at times it looks like you YouTube is protecting him. In back-to-back -back videos from the act man, he would call for Quantum's ban, with the second video titled The Dark Age of YouTube being struck down. But not by copyright. It was found in violation of YouTube's community guidelines for sex and nudity. The only sexual joke in the cucumbers. The whole video was a cucumber that was like put near Quantum's mouth. Be careful. Don't want to get that strike. I don't know, demonetizing the video, sure, but to strike down the video entirely is completely unheard of. A more interesting case is Rich from Review Tech USA getting a strike for reacting to clips of Quantum. It was for harassment and cyberbullying. What, is Quantum above mockery? If YouTube's not gonna ban him, fine, I don't care, but to then say criticizing and clowning on him is strike worthy, it just doesn't make sense to me. This shit show would reach a boiling point when Ackman would go on Twitter and make a joke about doxing YouTube employees. I'm excited to announce my new series of videos I'll be making on YouTube called Doxing Adventures with <laughs> Actman. In it, I'll be doxing and harassing the family members of YouTube employees and other content creators. It's sure to have a lot of family fun. Ha 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 ha. The point of this tweet being, since YouTube didn't ban Quantum for calling Actman's mom, Actman should be able to dox YouTube employees. YouTube responded to this by demonetizing his entire channel, meaning that Actman can't make money from YouTube anymore. Now, do I think Actman should have made this joke? No. Do I think his punishment should have been losing his entire monetization? over it? No, it's complete overkill for what is obviously a sarcastic joke. This led to the start of a movement. Hashtag justice for act man. It was viral on YouTube with tons of creators getting millions of views for talking about it, as well as trending on Twitter for a period. Well, it's been a few weeks now and everyone's pretty much moved on. The movement's over. That's my problem with movements like this. It tends to happen only once a year or so, but there's such a lack of focus on what changes they want to be made that they waste the moment. I want to talk about this, so hopefully when the next big movement comes around, we can actually get it right. On April 23rd, 2022, Actman posted a video titled Copyright Abuse on YouTube, featuring Quantum TV. The video had one main goal, to get Quantum banned from YouTube. And my end goal is the termination of his YouTube channel. Mark my words, Quantum, all roads lead to one destination, the termination of your current YouTube channel. And I will not rest until that is achieved. Listen very closely once more. I will get your YouTube channel deleted. I don't yeah, and that's where I think he fucked up. Because, like, at that point, it's like saying, like, I'm talking to YouTube. I will get it deleted. Like, bro, 
They're not going to make it look like you have any influence on any decisions they make. That's the problem. I don't even think this is all that noble of a goal. It just turns into villainizing the guy so much where Eggman's just trying to throw the whole book at him, leading to a lot of misinformation going around. Here's the list of charges Quantum is apparently guilty of. Through my research, I am able to provide undeniable evidence that Quantum TV has violated the following community guidelines on multiple occasions. External links, hate speech, cyberbullying and harassment, additional policies, ban evasion, copyright, harmful or dangerous content, child safety, and spam, deceptive practices, and scams. Wow, this guy's guilty of everything. Now that the drama's settled, let's quickly go through and try and figure out why YouTube may or may not have- What did he scam over? I don't remember that one. Scam. Take an action against- I'm Trying to think what that would even be as well as dispel some of the fake charges against Quantum. Ackman's arguments fall into three main categories. The first one being homophobic statements and YouTube not banning Quantum for it. The second is Quantum ban evading and YouTube letting his other accounts slide on the site when they shouldn't. And the third category is copyright abuse, which Quantum is 100% guilty of. The reason why YouTube hasn't banned Quantum for his homophobic speech is because his original tweets were deleted and now only exist in screenshot form. Ackman explains. While it's undeniable he broke YouTube's guidelines on hate speech and external links uh youtube will not do anything about that yeah i don't understand the child safety thing either that's a good point because he deleted the evidence and remember if you delete things on the internet it's like it never happened and everyone forgets i understand actman's frustrations here but it's a good policy from youtube for many reasons agreed 100%. Screenshots could be taken out of context, deleted because the person no longer agrees with it, or in the worst case scenario, completely fabricated. And as it turns out, this is most likely the case for one of Ackman's main pieces of evidence against- I do not think you sh YouTube should ban people for, like, <laughs> for deleted tweets and shit. Like, just thinking about that, because like, I don't know, that'd be- a, that's like Twitch territory. Quantum. Quantum TV is still the same person that believes these things. He still thinks the gays are out to get him and force him to have anal sex. I don't want to participate in the anal sex the liberal people tell Yeah, this is definitely fucking fake. This screams fake. I think Rich, when like this first got like leaked publicly, he was like streaming and somebody sent it to him. And I was like, I think I super chatted and said, yeah, I wouldn't buy that. It's probably fake because most Discord shit's 100% fake. You can inspect element basically anything, make yourself look like anyone. Like Anything screenshotted on Discord is basically BS for the most part. Tell me to. I mean, this is insane. Let me read this sentence again. I don't want to participate in the anal sex the liberal people tell me to. YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. One minute someone could be watching Stop the FOMO and the next minute they start having anal sex with their dads. YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. This is oh yeah, it was definitely funny, but it's definitely not real. Entirely from Actman's video and twice in it he shows a YouTube representative explaining the rules, showing that they're hypocrites for not banning Quantum for this. The problem with this screenshot is that it's probably fake and first appeared on Reddit memeing Quantum. Nobody has an alternate screenshot of this post and none of the moles in Quantum servers even remember seeing it. Even Ninjishin, the guy who was doxxed by Quantum, has been begging people to stop talking about this thing. Writing Rich, this isn't real. Don't post videos that can make Quantum look like a victim. And responding to Actman, this is a fake comment. Please don't focus too much on this. What are the things that you feel like people are getting wrong about the situation with Quantum? I'm talking about the Actman, Rich, myself everybody um one of the biggest ones is the discord post okay the one that get, that's been passed around the one that's like a few paragraphs long that got posted i guess to oled gaming or you know the long satanist atheist liberal one that gets posted around and people are like oh it's verified it's not fa no it's fake and i've said it i've said it to rich i've said it to everybody okay. it's fake I know it's frustrating because we don't like Quantum, but this policy from YouTube protects a lot of creators from getting banned from fake posts like this. 
This is a good rule. The second biggest argument from Ackman is that he's ban evading. It's a massive part of his video as he emphasizes it a lot. Our next order of business, ban evasion, as I believe this is where the conversation should have started and ended. We know Quantum is evading a previous ban because he admitted himself on multiple occasions back in 2018. But I asked the court if his channel wasn't banned, then all these posts from 2018 were faked, right? Problem with this argument is that Actman is just wrong. Quantum is not ban evading. Yes, those posts are real. Yes, his channel Quantum Apotheosis was banned at one point, but Quantum has since appealed his ban and won, reinstating his channel, meaning he's not ban evading. We know this because in an old video shouting out Quantum's previously banned channel, there's a link in the description that directs the same channel which has been rebranded to Next Gen Gamers. This proves that his channel has been reinstated and that he's not ban evading. Yup. That's all it takes, because that like unique URL does not change even if you update the name of your channel. Quantum pointed this out, which then led to Ackman making up a conspiracy theory, which is just so easy to disprove. Right now, Mr. TV has four active channels, Quantum TV Vlog, later renamed Controversial Truth, Chemical XJ9, his main one, and this brand- Yeah, that Chemical XJ9 one is the one where he basically was saying like, uh, what, there is too many black people in Horizon? Brand new next gen gamers. This channel is not brand new. It's been up since 2013, has videos of Quantum on it that are over four years old. I don't know why he's saying that. In terms of ban evasion, this is the only channel that matters, because again, this is Quantum's originally banned channel that was reinstated and then renamed. Here's Yeah, and it has a similar sub count as well, so it's definitely the same channel. Actman's conspiracy against it. Your Honor. It's possible to change the custom URL of a YouTube channel quite easily. I but you can't change that top one. I suspect he found this video, changed the link of an old channel he had privated to match this one, and is trying to pass it off as if he was never terminated. This is a cute theory, but it's also really easy to disprove, so let's do it. With YouTube, every channel has two URLs. One unique URL, which you can't change, and one custom URL, which is usually set to the name of the channel. For instance, mine is Willie Mac Show. See, it goes right to my channel and is displayed right there at the top. However, if we search for myself on Google and click my profile- Holy fucking tabs, bro. Jesus Christ. We'll see a different URL displayed at the top. This is my unique URL that I cannot change. So if we just type in Quantum's channel, youtube.com slash nextgengamers, nothing should pop up because it's not his custom URL. Remember, Actman says he changed it to this. But look, his channel does pop up. Clearly labeled Next Gen Gamers. Meaning that this- Yup. Plain and simple. Not ban evading. This is his one custom URL. So the only way that this other link could work is if it's his unique URL. Which it is. Meaning, yes, this is Quantum's previously banned channel, which has since been unbanned, proving that he's not ban evading. This ban evading shit is complete misinformation and should have never been a point of contention. There's other claims that Actman makes that are just complete misinterpretations of the rules. One being that Quantum says he's a TV calibrator and he's breaking YouTube's rules on scams by selling his settings online. And he's been using YouTube memberships and Patreon. Oh shit, bro. There's way worse scams and fucking YouTube than people pretending to be a TV calibrator. Like all these fucking crypto bullshit scams. Like none of those motherfuckers get banned. Why would somebody get banned for claiming to be a fucking TV calibrator? Yeah. That's what they meant by scam? Shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, nah. That's nothing. Section 12 with the 100? Jesus, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate these streams. Seriously, man. This donation is because I am thankful for this with like minded people. It actually does matter, man. We're all going to die and not feeling so isolated is important. Touch some grass. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much, dude. That's insanely generous. Please touch some grass. Thanks again, bro. To scam people into thinking they're buying TV settings from a certified calibrator. So this is basically what it's supposed to look like. What Quantum wants to do and sell people looks like this. <laughs> oh, God. So essentially, he's... Well, not essentially, he's... Yeah, that is pretty bad. I don't know if that's actually, like... <laughs> I don't know. That That's pretty fucking bad. Oscar Bosky with the two cabs equals zero bitches. Wait, what? Cabs? Cabs. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. Yeah, I'm a gamer. I'm trying to think. My brain may not be working this late at night. And not Nia with the two. I just took a shit in the bathroom. Why in the bathroom? Just do it. Just pull an Amber Heard and shit on your bed. Midnight Mallwell with the two. I just watched the shit slinging contest and I don't care a little. Fair enough. It is what it is, man. I've been along for the ride for months. I don't take a side, but I still agree that Quantum should be taken off the platform because of his no. Yeah, I agree. He should still be banned for a lot of shit. But. Oh, tabs. Gotcha. That makes a lot more fucking sense. I was thinking cabs. Like, you know what? Like taking a cab. I was like, the fuck? All right, now that makes sense. Like, 85 fucking tabs open. Yeah, agreed. He's literally lying, telling people that he's a, a certified calibrator when he's not. Yeah. So wow. that, that, well, He says he's a master calibrator, which is no such thing. You yeah, but even if he said he was certified, like, he could claim, like, oh, I'm certified by the Quantum TV certification board. Like, there's no fucking law regarding being a certified TV calibrator. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not a regulated industry. <laughs> I don't think people's lives are being affected by if their TV has the proper blue and red levels. Uh, Oski Waski with the two tabs. Yeah, I got you, man. All good. Makes a lot more sense. YouTube, he's scamming people. He's using your website to scam people. I do think he should be banned for the copyright shit. Unfortunately, YouTube's not going to ban him because it'd be kind of like a fruitless endeavor, but it would be nice. I think people that threaten copyright takedown should be removed personally, but it is what it is because he uses he doesn't use it just as like a legitimate claim. He uses it like as an intimidation tactic. Like it's him like flexing a gun basically without a magazine. But you still think it's fucking loaded, if that makes sense. Like, he's weaponizing the threat of a copyright takedown. And that, I think, should be ban-worthy. You know, if he just quietly fucking filed the strike or whatever, and didn't act like the fucking mafia don of YouTube, waving copyright as, like, his fucking, you know, warhammer or some shit, I don't know. Be a little different. Jordan with the five... I'm a certified toilet paper calibrator. Got to get the best wipes. Hell yeah, dude. Be careful. You may get fucking banned from YouTube for a scam, apparently. Stay safe out there. Yes, quantum settings suck, but that's not what YouTube describes as a scam. In their TOS, they clearly define scams as content offering cash gifts, get rich quick schemes, or pyramid schemes, sending money without a tangible product in a pyramid structure. Bro, every single fucking crypto and NFT video should be fucking banned from YouTube then. Because that literally is a fucking pyramid scheme through and through. But yeah, whatever. Over marketing yourself as an expert when you're not or selling shitty products isn't against TOS. Otherwise, half the beauty community would be banned. My main issue with this whole thing is just the lack of focus and just how desperate it feels. Ackman at certain points of this was just acting crazy. YouTube explains to Ackman why they won't ban Quantum over screenshots of deleted tweets. It sucks cause Quantum's an ass, but the reasoning makes sense to me. Ackman's response is to go to Twitter and post how YouTube's homophobic. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's where he fucking started to lose me there. Is when we get into the fucking SJW type behavior. Like, oh my god, they're fucking racist, they're homophobic. Like, I hate that type of shit. Looks homophobic, even though he's literally proving their point by spreading around a fake screenshot. Actman then makes up a conspiracy theory that Quantum is banavating when he's not. It's provably untrue. When you spread misinformation on someone, even if they're a piece of shit, you turn them into a victim.
Don't give Quantum that privilege. Actman then made a joke about doxing YouTube employees and harassing their families on Twitter, which he didn't delete until they asked him to, resulting in his monetization being taken away. So the movie- Yeah, and then he like played it up like he had no idea why it was taken away, you know, pushing the whole narrative that Quantum flagged him or that YouTube demonetized him for deleted tweets when they wouldn't ban Quantum for deleted tweets when in reality YouTube saw the tweets before they were deleted and were the ones who told them to delete them in the first place. Like, it just became a whole fucking clusterfuck at that point. Movement has gone from fixing copyright abuse to ban evasion to YouTube's homophobic to you should be able to joke about doxing YouTube employees. We're all over the place. The plot's been lost. Like, it sucks you lost your monetization over this. That's wrong. But you wouldn't be able to make this joke when working at Walmart or GameStop. I don't know why you thought you could make it about YouTube. It's sort of like swearing at- Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Like, it's very- you would not be able to do that. Like if you worked, say at like an actual company and you made a joke, like, I oh, can't wait to dox the fucking board of directors or some shit. Like you were making threats against, they would fucking fire your ass in a second. Like plain and simple. That's a spot on take. Like in the real world, this type of shit would not even fucking fly for a second. You wouldn't just be demonetized. You wouldn't just get punished. You get fucking fired. Plain and simple. Like, it'd be cut and dry at that point. So, yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, it's like what we were talking about the other night with the G Fuel shit. You know, people going and bitching about the CEO. It's like, yeah, you talk shit about your boss, you're going to get fired. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. I don't know, man. You can't do that type of shit in, like, the professional world. And when you start bringing in real people from YouTube, like actual employees, they're going to fucking clap back. Jason Cloud with the five. I have to admit him tweeting about the doxing shit is an Ellen Ackman's part. Yeah. It's just like, it's really bad optics. Like you're giving YouTube more rope to hang you with. <laughs> like literally it's like bringing your, it's like bringing the rope to your own fucking lynching. Basically. I don't know. It's dumb at a cop you should be able to do it but if he writes you up a bullshit ticket what did you expect this conversation should have started and ended with youtube's copyright system and implementing a way to punish people who abuse it or use it to intimidate others because ekman does a great job of pointing out the problem copyright abuse over the years, YouTube has made great strides in favor of protecting fair use content. I and many others truly commend them. The platform is way better than it used to be four years ago. However, there still exists one major easily exploitable flaw in the system. YouTube will never punish you for breaking the law and submitting fraudulent takedowns. You d hey, Zyro. You may need to empty the fucking drool tray underneath your chin because the ignorance you're spouting is pretty fucking incredible. Literally, no one is siding with Quantum. No one fucking thinks Quantum's right. You can criticize the act, man, without, you know, sucking the dick of Quantum TV. You can point out where people make a mistake. It doesn't mean you side with the person that they're going up against. Have a worldview that isn't just black and white. There's a gray area in between. Don't enforce any punishment or repercussions. There is nothing to discourage people from doing it except the community rising up, pointing the finger and saying, that guy's a piece of shit. He's 100% right. The only way to discourage this kind of behavior is to bully people into stopping. Susie Liu stop. Yeah, and unfortunately, the legal system we have right now and the set of laws, that's not going to change anytime soon. Because even if Quantum got banned, he could still strike people without a YouTube channel. But it took so many videos to get her to. It's complete overkill, but it's the only option we have. Which eventually leads to YouTube striking down people like Review Tech USA for covering him. Making it seem like YouTube's supporting Quantum. Quantum at this point, I think, has stopped copyright claiming people. Or at least I haven't heard of any new cases. But there's always gonna be another Quantum. Again, they say abuse of this tool may lead to the termination of your channel and under penalty of perjury. So my question 
what exactly constitutes abuse of this tool? Great question. This is exactly what the movement should have been focused on, getting YouTube to punish people who use their tools in this way. Instead, we got all caught up on the wrong things. I really think there's a conversation to be had there where progress can be made and we could help protect future content creators. It's a shame that was lost in all of this. I hope next time a movement comes around, we can keep that in focus. If I had any other criticisms for Actman, it would be that he was a complete obstacle for my research at times. On Augie RFC's stream, I asked him if he could send me his evidence. He told me no. If you could send me that, that would be cool. Because it's been hard to uh, hard to find I, on that side of it. Well, there's a, a re-upload of my uh, Dark Age of YouTube video. Uh, at this point, I'm kind yeah, of done investigating it. shit and sending it to people. I feel like I've done enough of that. Uh, and it's not, it's not good for my mental health. I was like, fair. I'm not the police. He doesn't... <laughs> It's not good for my mental health to send a <clears throat> to send a fucking screenshot. Oh my god, man. Oh, dude, I guess the covid brain was kicking in, right? Doesn't owe me anything. I can respect that. But when I would go do my own research, he would seemingly get mad about it, framing me dude, as Dude, I fucking love that part of the video I made though. When the, he's like being interviewed by Rich and he's like literally talking about how he tried to strike someone's video down all this other stuff he's like avoiding having to actually say what he did wrong and like 10 seconds delayed all of a sudden rich just bursts in and says oh my god you have covid it's like bro he completely ignored the entire topic of like what they were talking about it just fucking goes all out with this reaction like oh my god you had covid it's like shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Let's not talk about the uh attempt to false flag someone's video down, but oh my god, you had COVID? <laughs> like, bro, I don't know. And like his face too it was great. Quantum TV so You should know, Griff, aren't you just getting over COVID? Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like I'm not on some energy like, oh my god, guys, I have COVID. I'm going to strike down every single fucking video that's ever made fun of me. Like, no. I don't know. Just because I have COVID isn't an excuse to fucking false flag somebody's video because I got pissed over a joke. Supporter. He'd write, why die on this hill defending quantum? Why is it so hard to say calling someone's family over internet beef is not a good thing to do? I would never defend quantum and I would never support someone calling another person's family over internet beef. That is a ridiculous thing to say about me. I responded, all I did on Augie's podcast was ask questions so I got direct answers from you. I still have to verify everything you said on Augie's podcast. It's basic research. It's not me willfully misunderstanding. This is a good thing for me to do. He then mocks me, quoting, I still have have to verify it. LMAO, you already demonstrated your lack of research by not knowing these things. You're uninformed and simply being a contrarian for the sake of being a contrarian in the face of undeniable evidence. Then why didn't you send him the undeniable evidence? That's what I mean, bro. Like, this is the attitude he had with anybody who dared to question anything. Like, this is not a good look from somebody who claims to be on the right. Undeniable evidence. Bro, you did get shit wrong. Yeah, I'm like you're above people verifying your work. It's like you made up a whole fucking conspiracy about this guy, dude. That's on you. Don't be mad at me for checking your shit. You did the same thing to Tommy, framing him as a quantum TV supporter for what I thought was a fair statement, even going as far as trying to get YouTube to strike him over a meme involving J Station. He even DM Nick, oh boy, Tommy C is about to get a strike if I have anything to say about it. Bro, if you think you can make a joke about doxing and harassing YouTube and employees families then tommy can make an innocent joke about you i'm glad you deleted the tweets though and to quantum tv you go around and you're crying that people aren't hearing your side of the story yeah no tommy c was spot on from the beginning ego was definitely the problem well bro i've tried to reach out to you for the past two weeks you've completely ignored my discord messages yeah i wish he would have touched on the fact like literally in those d like in that tweet he showed like, Actman was demonstrating a lack of understanding for the TOS. Claiming that, you know, Tommy's video should get struck down because it had a terminated user in the video, which you literally can have terminated users in your YouTube videos. They just can't own or operate your channel. But they can be in as many videos as you want. And then ban me from your Discord server. You just sit there and cry in your Discord server while everyone pats you on the back. Either talk to somebody or shut the fuck up, because this shit is pathetic. Hello, is this Ant-Man's mom? 
Who's crawling? What up, bitch? So what is my final takeaway on this situation? Well, big viral movements like this only come around once a year or so, so it's important to know what you want from them. If it's just about shitting on a guy for being an asshole, that's fine. Go after him for anything and everything. But if you want tangible change, it's best to stay focused and to try and get that meeting with YouTube. Avoid making jokes about doxing and harassing YouTube employees' families, and don't call the whole company homophobic because one user with 60,000 subscribers tweeted some fucked up shit four years ago go and then yeah especially with the skeletons in act man's closet too like that video of him saying basically if black people get offended by somebody dropping the hard r you know then they just are insecure <laughs> about themselves like bro should you really be going on the virtue sig that's what i mean don't virtue signal and act holier than thou when you literally have tweets from around the exact same time period that are just as bad, if not fucking worse. I don't know, man. The whole virtue signaling shit is where it loses me because it's just so unnecessary. The point of this was never to prove that YouTube has a fucking anti-gay agenda. Like... What the fuck, bro? I don't know. Anyone who knows anything about Google knows they don't have an anti-gay agenda. If anything, it's like literally the complete opposite. Deleted it. That's They're probably one of the most pro like LGBT companies on planet Earth. Not how you get a meeting. I also don't think Actman is a bad guy. I just think he's very emotionally invested and made some rookie mistakes when dealing with this situation. Tunnel vision being one of them. Hopefully he's learned from it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope I was able to add a little something to this discussion. And guess what? I'm back home. So that means there'll be more videos very, very soon. Yeah, we're coming up on that three, or not three, fuck, 30 day period, which typically whenever they demonetize you or take you out of the partner program, you can reapply in 30 days. So my guess is Actman will reapply and maybe get his monetization back if he doesn't then he's fucked that i think will be the determining moment soon thank you to riveter aki hannah and chris the narc for helping with some of the research on all right that's the end but yeah i don't know i think i think it's interesting that you know basically it was proven that quantum was not doing anything wrong in a couple things like the band evasion thing i thought was legit like i thought that was definitely like a fucking case shut finished everything was good with that but apparently not man he's not ban evading so because that's the thing if youtube would have looked at that and saw he had a channel removed they would have just banned him like that would have been the easiest thing to fucking say it's like oh you know this dude's ban evading see ya N didn't even have to be anything to do with the drama could have just said oh ban evasion but yeah i don't know man i'm glad i kind of took a step back earlier than just now because i know a lot of people are kind of like now realizing like oh shit but as soon as it w came out basically that he was concealing the reason behind the demonetization that's when i was like uh, i'm kind of gonna stop with the uh defense at this point but yeah i don't know man it is what it is youtube drama is at least interesting so let's do something fun so this is DSP versus Keemstar. <laughs> oh, shit, man. This is how I play the game. All right, let's skip. The Sonic the Hedgehog hat is in play to be worn. It hasn't been worn yet, and I play. Pay up 200 bucks to put on that Sonic hat. I played Sonic Origins now. Two times. Keemstar absolutely fucking dunks on this motherfucker, too. It's great. Yeah, right? Yes. I beat Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic CD, and we're now into Sonic 2. Okay, wait. Two times or three times? Two times. Today's number three. That's right. Today is number three. Okay. Remember, if you support the Sonic streams and we hit... And remember, guys, him wearing this hat makes him feel physically ill and uncomfortable. A new tier four support goal. I love how he's like, if you really think about it, he's like trying to bait the trolls into paying him to wear a hat so that he feels uncomfortable. Like, that's what he's trying to do almost. He's trying to bait people to pay for his, like, discomfort. But let's face it, man. <laughs> let's face it. Nobody's going to feel uncomfortable wearing a fucking Sonic hat, bro. It's a fucking hat. Relax.
You're not like starving to death and dying of thirst in like the Sahara Desert. But he acts like it. Any little discomfort is like the end of the fucking world, the DSP. $200 in tips. I will put on the Sonic app for the rest of the stream. Okay? Hasn't happened yet. In fact, we haven't even come close. All right? So. Uh-oh. And it sure would be great. I'm just saying. It sure would be great. All right? <laughs> it sure would be great. If we could. Hint, hint. Hit that today. It would help me certainly for my day off tomorrow. Um, any support today would be well appreciated with tips, but that, hitting that would be superb and help me out for tomorrow's day off, okay? I need that. 2023 Perfect Dark with a 2 love act, man, but he fucked up hard. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was definitely like 100% on the side. I think it's bullshit that he got banned from the partnership program, got the video taken down. I think that all that's bullshit. Like, YouTube way overreacted, but after that point, his behavior is not not to my liking. <laughs> Let's call it that. Like, the way he handled the situation after he got demonetized, not a fan. And that's when I kind of took a step back. And I'm glad I did, because... I don't know. The whole thing played out a lot different than anybody expected, let's put it. That helped to keep this business afloat. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? What's the refund policy I offer? No refunds. Ever. In any case. <laughs> Zero refunds available. So if you fuck up, and you do something stupid, and you send me your money, that's on you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Absolutely. Non-negotiable. non trans Oh, the cherry juice for the... Oh my god, I remember that. He had to get the fucking store brand cherry juice because it helps break up his gout or whatever the fuck. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Transferable. Non-refundable. Caution. Flammable. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Gin is great. <laughs> Buyer beware. You're in for a scare. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thanks for the money, you big fat dummy. Yeah! There you go. I said it. Very nice. <laughs> Greed is a very powerful thing, my friends. You got to be very careful because then they're dancing the line between meaningful content that you can trust and someone who's always just out to make a buck. And then why are you supporting them? You know, I hate to say it, it's just sad when you <clears> see <throat> someone go down that path. Um, and a lot of people have done that over the years. Why is your tech obsessed with me? I honestly have no idea. I think what it is is whenever the guy's bored as shit, and there's just nothing to talk about. He feels like doing react content to my detractors talking about me is somehow like <laughs> entertaining to his audience, I guess. Again, I've, I've talked about this before. What's hilarious is this guy literally has the same kind of shit thrown at him that they throw at me. But he pretends like he's not self-aware or something. So he, you know, I could eat. Yeah, I, <clears throat> shit. I don't think the drama between Rich and DSP is even fucking comparable. Like, the worst thing Rich has on him is the Big Cheese situation, which DSP has done infinitely worse shit than that. Like, Rich is not on every single fucking live stream multiple times a day begging for money to pay his fucking taxes after going $500,000 in debt. <laughs> like... I don't think DSP and Rich are comparable on the Lowell Cal Richter scale or whatever the fuck you want to call it, man. DSP is in a fucking league of his own when it comes to the comparison of those two. Johnny Rico with the two. I have gout. It sucks, bro. You should try a DSP's miracle cherry juice. That could work. I don't know if it's actually legit or not, but something to look into. Z her with the two. I lost respect for Actman. Still not for LGBTQ TV. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like you don't have to be for Quantum if you can criticize what Actman did. Like, I'm definitely fucking against Quantum. 100%, bro. I've been calling this dude out for two years. But, you know, you can still point out the fact that Actman butchered the situation and acted like the very thing he was going after towards the end of it so yeah i don't know easily sit here and do a react stream to his shit all the shit people have said about him just the other day <clears throat> i was just on youtube you know minding my own yo is wings 007 still in here i saw him earlier 
I wanted to see what he thought since he's kind of the expert in the chat on lol cows. What his opinion is? Would he place Review Tech and DSP in the same league, or is there kind of a difference there? And Ignis Lord of Flames, the two top three lol cows. Mm, like of all time, I mean Chris Chan obviously has to be towards the fucking top. Like, come on now. And then DSP, 100%. And Wings used to be, not so much. I don't know. It's kind of tough. I still say Wings just because of the history. Yeah, Wings 007 should still be a mod. I'm pretty sure. And Johnny Rico with the two, it barely helps. Interesting. So DSP could live without his $20 cherry juice. Good to know. Business. I see a video in my related. Your review tech USA yelled at by his wife, told he's a deadbeat dad. It's not like the shit's not there for him too. You know what I mean? But I don't, you know, I don't do that stuff. I could easily right now say. Yeah, Ethan Ralph is definitely getting up there, man. <laughs> definitely. Fuck Sonic Origins. Let's do a three-hour stream reacting to negative shit about Rich. That would be a really great, valuable, fun stream that would make me money, right? But I'm not going to do that. That's just, you know what I mean? Like, not, I don't do that toxic shit. It's stupid. It's, there's no value to it. All you're doing is you're beating up people for no reason. And, you know, but he does it to me all the time. He thinks it's funny, you know? Ah, oh, I'll just do it. Whenever I'm bored, I... It is fucking funny. Bro, watching a 40-year-old man act like he's about to go fucking bankrupt if he doesn't get enough donations on a fucking Sonic live stream is one of the most pathetic things you will ever see in your entire life. Like, bro, there are people who work at fucking McDonald's who don't have the financial issues that you have. Like, what in the fuck? I don't feel like working today. I want to make a buck. I'll just make fun of Dark Side Phil for like two and a half hours on a stream. Okay, Rich, thanks, you know. They call me a lol cow. Dark side, fill the lol cow. Lol cow, lol cow. That's really the cream of the crop. You know what they say? The cream rises to the top. You're right there. You're floating right at the top with all those primo content creators when you put out that stuff, you know. The funniest part about all of it is he doesn't even know how to spell my name. <laughs> he, he spells my name wrong in the videos. Like, oh, my God. Whatever. Anyway. Uh-oh, a hit to the ego. Uh-oh, DSP's upset, man. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I said, he has some kind of obsession with me because it, I think he sees it as a free payday. He says, whenever I make, I, if I, I won't talk about Phil for a while, but then when I'm bored and I have nothing to do but I want to make some money today, I'll, I'll go to the bottom of the barrel and I'll just bring up some detractor shit about him and watch it, and then I'll make money. <laughs> Good for him. Come on, we got It's a wonderful world we live in. I mean, DSP, isn't that why you literally watched, like, all those fucking down the rabbit hole videos? On wings, for example, so you're literally doing the same shit that you're blasting rich for right now. So I don't know, man. Gotta get another gold pull. Come on. Here we go again. Samantha, didn't you just get paid by YouTube? It's all gone. I paid all my bills with it. In fact, just this morning. <laughs> all right. I did my monthly tax payment. I did my, my monthly dues. I paid my health insurance. I paid my car insurance. And something else too. Oh, and my electricity bill is clearing within the next two days. All the money's gone. The money that comes in pays the bills and is out the door. There's no, oh, Phil gets an exorbitant amount of money from YouTube every month and it sits around a giant pile of money to touch. It's gone. It goes away to- Yeah, you. it goes away because it goes to fucking WWE if you get it in your PayPal account. And then the actual YouTube check goes to the fucking bills. That I can believe. The whole YouTube check goes to bills. The fucking tips and all that shit goes to WWE. To, to bills within a week <clears throat> so stop asking stupid questions really intrusive dumb stupid questions that i've already answered by the way in the past because you're a jerk here we go here we go let's get some pulls come on pull the gotcha pull on my gotcha come on you know we gotta get some pulls tonight would probably be the last appropriate night for one or both of the Viking hats that we adopted specifically for this playthrough for the last six months. So if we did hit the $100 tips goal, it would sure, certainly would be awesome to be wearing these. I would put this one on first, and if it starts bothering me, I'd put on the other one. All right? 
But you know, after- oh, it starts bothering him. Gee, dude, this is a grown man that literally is like, <laughs> oh, this hat's uncomfortable. It's bothering me. Jeez, could you imagine if DSP actually tried to get an actual fucking job? Yeah, this this is kind of bothering me. I think I need to sit like, bro. This is like the most entitled, lazy man on the fucking internet, hands down. Uncodified horror with the five, my mandatory contribution. <laughs> Thanks for the stream, homie. Gets me through my shift. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Groovy gaming. How has DSP had two wives? That's the thing. For anybody out there that is worried that they will not find love in this world or find someone for them, remember the fact that DSP has been married. <laughs> You're going to be okay. After today, effectively, what games are these going to really make sense? You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because even though I have tried to make these uh, uh, like viable options in other playthroughs, no one really votes for them. I think this was something very silly and funny for this playthrough specifically but after tonight likely what'll happen is i'll probably retire these for now and then if i play another game that's like medieval style or you know that kind of a style where it makes sense then i'll bring them back as options that's right guys make sure you give me 150 bucks tonight or else you'll never see me wear these again for the foreseeable future uh again but for now effectively tonight will be the last hurrah for the viking hats if we hit the tips goal of 100 dollars. and uh again I'm not expecting much. I'll be honest with you. I don't even think we're going to hit that. I, I, I would be surprised if we hit the tier one goal tonight. I'm just, you know, and I'm not going to talk about it. Um, I'm not. I'm just going to just chill and relax with you guys and have fun and enjoy the end of the game. This is not about anything like that tonight. It's been a wild ride. I'm grateful. Like I said, back in January, this was the most supported, most engaging stream I did. You guys were crazy. I was hitting the tips goals every, every Skyrim stream in freaking January. I know that sounds crazy because I was, okay? Oh my God, he's drinking gin. Gin is great. Bro, he's still playing Skyrim. To this day, from fucking January. No wonder why people are losing interest in that fucking playthrough. It's been six months. <laughs> super thanks? I think are not existing. Ultrasonic Asquake, what a name. He says, how have super thanks been? I don't think there's been any. The, t the, the few times I usually see super thanks, there's two situations. Either a brand new playthrough hits that's popular, and some people are happy to see me play it, and I get a few super thanks on, like, part one. Or, if I'm in, like, the middle of a retro playthrough, and there's a really, like, notable part of a playthrough, like, for example, someone was watching me play Zelda Link to the Past, and did a super thanks at a part that they felt that was really nostalgic for them. I'll get one every once in a while. I'm not kidding you. In any given month since I started getting super thanks. The I've never gotten a super thanks. The most I've gotten is like 20 bucks. They basically don't exist. No one thinks to do a super thanks watching an on-demand video on YouTube. It's oh no, dude. Someone only gave you $20 for one fucking comment? You poor thing. I haven't even gotten two. Super <laughs> with the two. Married sounds like a foreign word. For hostage. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes you wonder. You really do fucking wonder. What it would be even like. Not only living with DSP. But could you imagine interacting with him romantically? Like, that just has to be one of the most disgusting things you've ever seen in your life. I don't know. I don't know how anyone could do it. It's just, it's not ingrained in your head. That I don't have super thanks. I don't? Yo, hold up. I don't? I thought I did. Yo, what the fuck? I guess because I'm not logged in. Let me see if it pops up on the... Yeah, I do. I have super thanks. See? Fuck. Right there. Right here, man. Show your support with super thanks. I'm pretty sure they gave them to everybody. To do it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if I sat here in every single video that I recorded, I said, Hey guys, remember to do super thanks. Maybe I get some, but you guys know me. I'm not going to sit here and do that all day. So really, they don't really matter, quite frankly. Oh my God, he's drinking gin. I drink. <laughs> yes, I actually drink. This is the finale. We got basically the end of it left, like an hour. So if you guys could contribute in any way, we'd be appreciated. Tips would be really good, so that way it can help me for my day off tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm it may only show. They may not have it on iPhone. I have no idea, man. But I do have it. They sent out an email saying that we've unlocked it for everybody. 
Be back in just like two minutes, okay? I'll be right back. I would like to say thank you to Malcolm, who just did a whopping $25.50 tip. Malcolm, to the $100. I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? And you guys want the stupid Sonic hat. I'll wear the dumb Sonic hat tonight. I don't care. You guys keep... <laughs> you guys, as like, it's a big deal. It's really not. I'll wear it for tonight. We're already at the end of the stream anyway. That's why I hate it. It never stays on my head ever. Oh my god, it's, it's so uncomfortable. Okay, there we go. Got your Sonic hat. <laughs> that looks so stupid. <laughs> now I gotta fucking fight Alduin with this thing on. Great. Great. Alright. Oh my god, he's gonna fight Alduin from Elder Scrolls Skyrim with a Sonic hat on? The poor thing. Is that Apollo making noise in the background? Probably. Save around with the two. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> Bro, just imagine that. Right about as you're about to bust your load, all of a sudden, the chick you're fucking just goes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fucking creepy. So, Dweller DSP wastes money on every. Oh, yeah, everything. I mean, he spent tens of thousands of dollars on a fucking mobile game. That is depressing. Ponage has just took twenty-one dollars. Thank you, Ponage. With that, we're at one fifty. I am Darkside Phil, and I thank you very much for joining <laughs> me for Skyrim Anniversary Edition and this epic tenth anniversary run. Thank you very much. Should I just air out DSP for passing up on 50k? Like, I'll just make a Twitter video and explain everything. <laughs> the man who's in desperate need of financial support turned down $50,000. Let that sink in. See, ladies and gentlemen, I had a brilliant idea. An absolutely brilliant idea. See, there are three creators I know online who get tons of hate nonstop. And all... Artie and Melnikov with the 20. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. How you feeling, old man? <laughs> Business as usual, I see. Yeah, I'm actually feeling good. Like, I'm not... I don't think I'm sick anymore, so that's kind of a W. I have a little bit of a cough left, but nothing really outside of that, so... Feeling good, man. Really appreciate it. All three of them have money issues. Always going broke. I'm talking about Wings of Redemption, who is a streamer. If you don't know him, look him up. He's a loco, all right? People go to his stream just to bully him, just to harass him. He's always complaining about money's problems, bagging on the stream for money, and people give him money, and he's making it, but just barely making it. There's another guy out there, uh, Boogie2988, very popular, successful YouTuber who has fallen on hard times. He also gets bullied by multiple people online, right? Very similar situation. And then there's DSP. DSP has been bagging fucking the 200 people that show up to his stream to pay all of his bills instead of getting a job, he goes to the stream and says, hey guys, my taxes are up. Hey, I gotta pay my gardener. Hey guys, and then he'll blow the little money he gets from his fans on like skins in a video game. And then <laughs> It's not even skins. It's fucking PNG images of Hulk Hogan wearing a Star Spangled Banner fucking thong. Bro, like, it's, li I don't know, man. This dude literally spends his money buying, like, muscular men in fucking leotards in a Candy Crush clone. That is what DSP has spent tens of thousands of dollars on. A fucking Candy Crush wrestling clone. That shit is beyond pathetic. Then hit up his audience and be like, hey guys, uh, I forgot about rent. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need a donation, all right? Oh, fuck, I need more money. <laughs> I need money. Come on, I need money. So I've been seeing this shit play out with these three, and I said to myself, because you gotta understand, with all of these three guys, there is a whole ecosphere of other creators that have YouTube channels dedicated to clipping them bullying them making fun of them right like there's this whole industry of people making money yeah more people watch videos making fun of dsp than actually watch dsp off 
of these guys, but these three are struggling. So I was on the phone with Buggy and I go, Buggy, it's time for you, Wings and DSP to make some of that money yourselves. You guys are entertaining, not in the way that you think, like you're all train wrecks, right? But you are entertaining and you deserve to make money and you don't deserve to be sitting here begging every fucking stream or every fucking show just to make it from paycheck to paycheck. You guys need to do something to make some money. I got a brilliant idea. Why don't I take the three of you, put you on a podcast. We will call it the Low Call Podcast. <laughs> oh my God. That shit would be so fucking good, bro. That honestly is like one of the best ideas. That would be a very interesting podcast. Lao <laughs> Cow Pod. How is it called? How is it? LOL Cow Podcast, right? I don't even know how to fucking say the shit. It'll be fucking brilliant. Boogie goes, you know what, Keem? You got a lot of experience in podcasts. You made millions of dollars in podcasts. I trust you. I'm down for it. I'm like, hell yeah, Boogie. Boogie actually has a fucking brain, it seems like. Hell yeah. I'm like, I know this will work. I know this will fucking work. And I was looking at all the, the, the channels that hate on these guys. And I'm like, you know what? They would fucking love this podcast. That's content for them. You know, they're, they're part of this thing. They help promote the podcast by talking shit about them, right? It all work out. Everyone will be fucking happy, all right? So Boogie goes and talks to Wings. Apparently, Wings is kind of down, right? Wings was like somewhere in the middle, if I remember correctly. But I had to talk to DSP. So I made uh, some tweets, tried to get a hold of him. He was the most difficult person in the world to get a hold of. He's tweeting back and forth publicly, telling me, hey, hit up my email. Bitch, I'm a creator. You're a creator. We don't email each other. We just talk. All right, we're <laughs> equals. We jump on the phone and we have conversations. I couldn't get on the phone with him. He was being so fucking difficult. Hit my email line, all right? Email my business. F go fuck yourself with your fucking email. So I told him publicly, <laughs> bro, you're gonna miss out on this $50,000. Because I, I figured, they get about a $50,000 sign-on bonus for the first fucking year of this podcast. Eat all three of them. All three of them. And if I had to front the money, I'd front the money. Because I know this show would make a lot of money. I know this show would be wild. Yeah, that shit would make a fuck ton of money. Like, that's the thing, bro, is if DSP is in such dire straits and in desperate need of money, why the fuck would he not be frothing at the mouth over this opportunity? ...successful. That's how much I believe in this concept and this idea. So I'm talking to him in the DMs and he goes, listen, I got to stream at this time. I got to stream at this time and da, 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 da. I don't fucking care when you stream. You're streaming in front of 200 people and your fucking stream. Get the fuck on the phone with me so we can have a conversation about this. I <laughs> fucking facts, man. Can't. Okay, fine. So I wait till the next day. Try to hit him up. He's fucking streaming. Every time, every time I try to have a fucking conversation. No offense, guys, but if Keemstar was calling me, offering me 50 grand to do a fucking podcast, I would end the stream in like a second's notice. Conversation with this fucking loser, DSP, he is streaming. I worked my ass off. In front of 200 people making about, I'm going to say on average, uh, $4 an hour. <laughs> But he can't pick up that phone, man. He's busy. Four dollars an hour. Motherfuckers working at McDonald's makes more than that. But you can't get on the phone with me for for a fifty thousand dollar fucking paycheck. Like this shit is so fucking frustrating. So I give up on it. You know, even though it's a brilliant idea, and even though you shouldn't give up on your dreams, I give up on it. I'm off to doing other stuff. I'm building all different types of fucking shit all over the place. I got fucking so many goddamn companies and projects going on. I'm off doing that shit. I forget about this, and I go on YouTube couple nights ago and i ended up on dsp stream and he was there Good saying boy. that he needed money for fucking something and he was sitting there asking people with real fucking jobs to pay his bills again and i <laughs> <laughs> bro i love like keem absolutely fucking hates e-beggars which is funny like he used to roast people with patreons all the fucking time so and he's also been around longer than dsp so keem has been like involved with dsp's rise and fall to an extent same with wings and boogie i don't know man keem just typically has based fucking takes i guess is what i'm trying to say but yeah like how are you gonna sit there begging people for fucking money and you don't even want to do anything to make 50 grand for yourself it's like jesus Already amount to cover the five. Wasn't Boogie that dude who fired off a warning shot and then got an arrest? Yeah. I think he just had like a plea deal or some shit and paid like a fine.
Yeah, which is what typically will happen in a case like that. I don't know, man. But yeah, that was Boogie when the dude showed up at his house. And Trash Man with the five. Oh, you're not sick anymore? Cool. Good to hear my favorite streamer is doing well. P.S. First super chat, by the way. Really appreciate it, man. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. The cough has kind of gone away for the most part. I don't feel like death anymore. So overall doing well. Thanks so much. I got frustrated. And I said, and you won't get on the fucking phone with me in his chat. And he banned me from his chat. This dude is a piece <laughs> of fucking garbage. If you are watching his shows and you're paying his bills, you're a fucking, you're, you're, you're a fucking loser. You should not support <laughs> this guy. He had an opportunity to make. Yo, is God Howard in here? Because he needs to hear this shit. Make serious money to entertain you. And he wouldn't do it. But you're going to still fucking give him $200? You're going to give him $50 to pay his fucking bills? Nah, you got a job. You keep your money. Fuck that guy. I like being on level one. Then I guess I'm a beggar. And you know what? I think I'd rather be a beggar than a Keemstar. <laughs> That's the biggest cope I've ever fucking heard. Rent free, egg. <laughs> they call me DSP. You are living rent free because you hustle your fans to pay your rent. <laughs> Bruh, just remember, despite how small of a content creator I am and the fact that I stay in my lane and remain at level one, I still somehow <laughs> inexplicably remain living rent free in so many people's heads. Big and small. It's quite remarkable, actually. Every mention I get is a win. <laughs> this fucking music. Oh, I just bro. received a dollar fifty tip from Farmer. Who says, glad to see this is going to be another chill night of Penne, Jin, and Twitter after a little bit of WWE Champions. There's still this back here. <laughs> At least he's honest in that case. Oski Oski with the two. Is there even a possible chance for this pot? I fucking wish, but I don't think so. DSP is too fucking stubborn, unfortunately. He's just such a fucking Neanderthal, bro. <laughs> like, honestly. Like turning down 50 grand when you claim to be in these dire financial straits is just fucking pathetic. So let's see. DSP address. I think this is the other one. This is how I play the game. For some more support today. I mean, it's been really slow for support on the stream. Probably one of the slowest I've had in a long time. I hope it picks up. All right, guys, let's take a break. Oh, uh, and I shall be back with more Castlevania. Anyway, while we wait for more elaboration, if you take USA, uh, did a super chat. Oh, here, yeah, this is the part I wanted to watch. Thing out of them, you know what I mean? And then discard them after. Anyway, while we wait for more elaboration, if you take USA, uh, did a super chat. We're gonna unpack this one. You gotta get ready for this one. Ready? I'm not gonna put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. Griffin, are you seriously taking that 50k figure at face value? Oh yeah, definitely. Keem would 100% pay that. Bro, Keem has fuck you money, basically. Like, Keem made a fuckload of money back in the day promoting that one game on 360 i think it was like called survival craft or some shit like it was like a minecraft clone but it was back when minecraft wasn't on 360 and he made like multiple millions of dollars off of that game and that was like over a decade ago since then he's invested his money he's had massive fucking sponsorships business ventures he's like into fucking youtube boxing shit and like bro the dude is making bank so Keem fronting 50 grand to pay somebody for a year's worth of podcasts is not fucking unbelievable. Like Keem probably wouldn't even notice 50 grand going in the fucking toilet. So I 100% would take that at face value, especially coming from Keem. Like Keem is known to invest in shit and pay people to do stuff. 100%.
British potato with the two. God, Howard is in every stream upload. He'll see it. All right, good, man. He needs to hear that shit. He needs to stop uh, paying DSP's fucking electric bills. Okay. Let's unpack this for a bit. First of all, thank you, Rich, for the super chat. All right? So step one. I'm not going to put it in a bottle. Oh, it's called Castle Miner? Okay, shit, I forgot. I never actually played it. All right. What is that implying? And imply, what do you think you put in a bottle? A baby's milk? Or a drink for a small child who drinks out of a bottle, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's unpack the second half of that. And breastfeed it to you. Okay. Well, if you're putting something in a bottle... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And you're giving it to anyone, a baby, an adult, it doesn't matter. You're not breastfeeding them. It's in a bottle. <laughs> breastfeeding. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> my God. Imply feeding from the breast. You, you said you're going to put it in a bottle. I'm not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. Is what he's saying. So if you were putting anything in a bottle, you would not be breastfeeding. You understand? Now. You're saying this to me. I think I actually owned Castle Miner Z. I'm pretty sure. All right. You're not saying this to a baby. So you're saying you're not going to put... Something in a bottle, maybe, uh, milk, or... Hulk Hogan's sperm? And breastfeed it to me. Well, you wouldn't anyway, because it wouldn't be breastfeeding if you put it in the bottle, you understand? But if you're saying you're not going to put it in the bottle, are you saying you are going to breastfeed me? Is that what you're saying? Yes. So now, it's a whole new level, because... He wants you to suckle on his titty. I have a man coming on my stream telling me he's going to breastfeed me. In public, <laughs> in front of everyone here. Yummy! <laughs> Yummy. Open your mouth, close your eyes, a tasty penne surprise. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. The first question here is, do you actually lactate? If you do, I don't know if you're aware of this, Rich. Men are not supposed to lactate from the nipples. So Holy fuck, man. He's taking this shit seriously. Z her with the two, even DSP thinks quantum made no sense, lol. Bruh, like, this clip is fucking gold, though. 2023 Perfect Dark with a 2. I'm not gonna put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. <laughs> Damn, I thought we had something special. And Jack Slate with the 5, who said Quantum TV is innocent? He's not banavating. We kinda already watched that. Uh, Ignis Lord of Flames with the 2. DSP belongs in r slash whoosh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't really blame him for not getting that reference, but the fact that he's literally trying to, like, fucking unpack this shit and now is going to talk about Rich's lactating nipples is just really fucking great. If this is happening, you should probably seek medical attention. Like, maybe go to a doctor and tell them what's going on. When you have abnormal lactation activities, especially in a man, it could actually be signs of serious illness, like cancer i'm serious about this like I've, I've looked into stuff like this before <laughs> no, <I've> never... <laughs> he looked into it bro i guess dsp was lactating on the regular back in the day i don't know bro i had lactation for my nipples i'm just saying men should not have that if you have it it could be bad signs or something bad is going on in your body all right if you have an infection <laughs> it could be cancer it could be yo what do you guys think the chances are that at some point dsp looked up why are my nipples lactating <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even things. Okay? So you should go to a doctor immediately. All right? If you are having lactation issues with your, you know, it doesn't make any sense. All right? Now, if you are offering me, you say you're not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed. If you are offering me a free meal from your nipples, that's disgusting and I will turn you down. Okay? I mean, I'm just trying L. to respond to this as, as matter of fact as I can. I don't know what it means. It's weird that you come to my stream and say something like this. I appreciate the super chat. That's nice of you. The message, I mean, it's kind of hard to understand. Good stuff. Good Castlevania 3 gameplay so far. I like the game. It's tough, but I like the game. And I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Until next time. Awesome. All right. All right, everyone. That is it. Make no money is not a huge deal. Guys, if you're in, again, if you're enjoying the fighting game stuff, please support it. I really like doing this. I'm going to be doing this once a week on Friday night. But I really like doing this, and I would like to keep doing it. But I need your support. You know, right now, thank you to everyone who has done a super chat or a tip. But, I mean, we're only at, what, $16 in tips? I can't even see it at this point. But, uh, you know, we're a far cry from, from a, a decent stream. It would be great if we can get some more support.
What the fuck is he playing? Yeah, my nipples are leaking calcium as well, man. You know, wanna... Actually, nah. We'll save it for the DMs. DSP is like a gift from God, and I'm not even... Yeah. He's like an infinite content machine. His drill. How do I punish him? Maybe I should do it. Do I believe I'm one of the best overall gamers in the country? I'm one of Marco G with the five. Hey Griff, glad you're doing well. Love all the streams. Heading to bed already. Can we get a gaming? Absolutely, man. Really appreciate it. Gaming. Sleep well. Overall, for the best gamers in the universe. In the fucking universe. I I'm one of the best. Take that shit. Oh my god, he's drinking Hulk Hogan's sperm? This is the Capcom collection? Interesting. Full screen grab again. It's like you can't get out of the way. Considering he's a so called professional Street Fighter player. So say we're with the five. If I write a fanfic about your nipples on Reddit, can we get a live reading on stream? I'll be reading it. <laughs> I guess. So. Sure, why not? Griff reading nipple fanfic stream is the way. All right, fine. Don't make it too graphic, though, because I don't want to get fucking banned. Z Herb with the two. A DSP should make a DSP troll account to cash in. Yo, for real, honestly. He's missing his entire fucking, like, content potential. But he has too big of an ego to actually laugh at himself. That's the issue. It's like he can't fucking stand the idea that people don't take him seriously. Like, he thinks what he does is, like, a serious job. It's not. You're playing video games on the fucking internet, dude. You're not curing cancer and saving lives. Like, I don't know. It's really corny. Lock you down, and if you're trying to block sometimes, somehow they catch you and they caught you. Like, you can do a super chat, super sticker. You become a member. You can gift a membership to a fellow viewer. Or the best way you can help could be tipping. Tipping helps a ton. It'll help me for my day off coming up on Wednesday, so please consider it. Thank you. It's not coming out. Uh, that just sucks. I can't, I can't even jump over fireballs. It's really delayed, and this guy's playing keep away fucking counterpick so late. He counterpicked, first of all, it's a complete counterpick match. Then he's running away in lag, and I can't even jump over fireballs. Like, come on, man. But yeah, I, I forgot. To have scored OTO throws, you have to pick the better version. You have to hold spot. What the hell? She shouldn't have gotten two hits. One hit, maybe, not two. Now I can't do anything. Yeah, I won't do my move, see? 
Yeah, no move! <laughs> Bro, that person almost got a fucking perfection against him. Jesus. Mash buttons. Shitty. Shitty gameplay. Seriously, it's just bullshit gameplay. It's because it's laggy. You get away with fucking bullshit moves. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, get my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. I don't know why I got hit. Massive fucking dragon bites him. I don't know. She's got to be a ball super. <laughs> I agree. Guys, if you're in, again, if you're enjoying the fighting game stuff, please support it. I really like doing this. I'm going to be doing this once a week on Friday night. But I really like doing this, and I would like to keep doing it. But I need your support. You know, right now, thank you to everyone who has done a super chat or a tip. But, I mean, we're only at, what, $16 in tips? I can't even see it at this point. $16, bro. But it's a serious job, guys. But, uh, you know, we're a far cry from, from a, a decent stream. It would be great if we can get some more support. The $26 in tips. Again, guys, we great we can hit some of the tips. I just don't know why he doesn't get a... Oh, I'm, I know why. Because he's lazy. And he's stubborn. And can't face the facts that his YouTube career is, like, fucking in the toilet. So he has to hold on to his glory days, basically. But just for the amount of money he makes, for the amount of time he puts in... He would be so much happier if he just, like, got an actual fucking job that, you know, paid him well, and he didn't have to deal with all this shit, and he could just stream for fun, like, every night. I don't know. Tips goals for tonight at 50 bucks on our glasses. As you know, we had $100 to put on the bison, and have bison for a while if we happen to play hyperfighting. Now, all you have to do is you have to send me all of your money tonight. <laughs> Hello. Come on. He literally did absolutely nothing impressive. He just did basic moves, and I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> I just can't give you anything. Like, wow. Pro fighting game player. Guys, still around for at least another half an hour, if not a little longer. We'll see how it goes. If you're enjoying yourselves, please remember, like the stream. Liking the stream helps for engagement. It gives this channel a lot of help. But you can also do many other things. Obviously, tips would be great tonight. It would be great when you hit the gunner glasses goal tonight. And people just kept falling for it over and over. A cult situation. Um... <laughs> I literally can't do anything. The lag, the lag is so bad, I literally can't do anything. What he's doing, he has a turbo control. All he's doing is holding Fierce Punch. And giving him infinite <laughs> oh, shit. And I can't do anything to hit it because the lag is bad. Like, wow. He's an ultra fucking silver, this guy. Come on, guys. Let's hit at least the first tips goal for the night. Come on. Let's do it. Damn it, I'll bring, I'll, I'll, I'll bring fighting game night. We're not even hitting the tier one goal. I know we can do it. And I know you guys like fighting games. Come on, support them. Support them. I love this. By the way, I'll play this again on Friday. I'm not playing it again until Friday. We're taking a break from it. I, what the fuck was that? I didn't do that at all. No sure you can. Okay, no block. Block! Nick Wolf with the two, this man will come up with an excuse for any law. Oh, yeah, no. It can never be his fault. He can never just not be good or, like, say, oh, yeah, that person, like, you know, kicked my ass. No, it's always some issue with the game, his connection, the controller, whatever. Like, never him. Always the fucking game. I did low, low short. It's supposed to be a low short. Instead, it shows him doing a special move I didn't do, and he gets a flash kick. We're at $40 in tips, guys. Come on. We are so close. Come on, guys. Hint, hint. Goals. Please, we can hit it. I would really appreciate it, man. Help! <laughs> What the fuck? He's on my input entirely. He didn't even do anything. What am I supposed to do? Big damage. I can't block. Oh, 
What the fuck? How's it going Oh, shit. Sure. That's what I get. This game is so stupid. All I can taste is the saltiness. It's so fucking stupid. I wait the whole round. Okay, she's gonna be open. She does random super. Let me do mine. No, I don't get it. I get a different move. Why? Because everything's the same button. Overhead, forward, overhead, back. Every super. Oh, I can get the slam. I can't, even, I can't even jump over a fireball. It's too laggy. I can't block. It's too laggy. I couldn't block. Yeah, Yo, in other streams, though, when he was playing this, I've seen clips, and he was literally saying that this game has zero fucking lag. Like, the connection's literally perfect in this game. <laughs> so now the lag is the issue. This is a waste of time. The, the connection's really, really bad. I can't jump over a fireball. I can't even block a jump in. I got a troll because the first time I played the original Darkstalkers, that was a complete waste of my time. It was so laggy. That guy's super silver. That guy was no good. What? He just threw out another random special move and it randomly trades with me. Oh my god, he's drinking salt. Which, by the way, is bullshit because he's supposed to be recovering from the super. But what happens there, right? He's... Oh, I got hit. He keeps neutral jumping. Look at that. He keeps neutral jumping and doing like a light kick. And then I try to move and my character gets like stock stun locked by it. Because he's not purposely doing spacing. He's just... I can't block it. See, I, I guess I'm jumping. Can't block the jumping. <laughs> can't block. He just started moves, I just can't block. I don't get it. Can't block again. He gets away with these weird jumpings and I can't block them. And I don't understand it. Because he's not crossing me up. He just hit for no good fucking reason. My mouth is full of salt. High block. It just fucking hit me. Again, you saw what happened? I was doing a ground history. He neutral jumped and he was able to get a combo after it. I don't understand why. You just have to know every single time he dies, it's just a massive blow to his fucking ego. Because fighting games are like his claim to fame, basically. Can't block! Why? I lost again to a thing I couldn't block. It's three games in a row. He's just doing a basic jump in, and I can't block it. That's not good. Because you know what that tells me? That tells me... <clears throat> Alright, guys. So thank you so much. Until Friday night when we continue again. Awesome. Try not to stay up too late tonight. All right, just late enough to finish the whole handle of, of gin. Like everyone says that I drink. I just got to finish the entire thing, all right? Just drink myself into a stupor, and then I'll just pass out. It's a perfect way to Elimination. recover. There you go. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly. I don't know, man. But I do need to hop off, guys. We're at the four hour mark, and it is 3 30 for me. So, unlike DSP, I need to go to sleep because I have to get up for work. <laughs> so, yeah.